And so this, you yeah. really are works of art. And you don't even have to, well-made clothes, you don't even have to particularly look after them well. I mean, these things are in my shed. They're in my wardrobes. It's not like I'm being really, really careful and putting them in moth-proof yeah. bags or anything. But they still, they, they just, yeah. um, they've lasted in spite of me, really. <laughs> Yeah, because some people, you know, really get their wedding dress back from the dry cleaner and it's all in that acid-free And they never wear it again and you never see it again. Yeah. Yeah. But that is a very well-loved wardrobe. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that one. And um, two more in the other room. I know, it's not because I'm particularly acquisitive, although my P PA would say that's a lie. She says I buy far too many clothes. But you, can't, you do get sick of wearing them. Do you... Do you shop mostly overseas? Do you, do you mostly, yeah. I do some shopping here, but mostly because then I can catch sales wherever I am, you see, and I've got my favourite de griffe or second-hand designer shops. And I just walk straight in and say, have you got any manis? And they'll drag out some manis, but they're all in the shed and they're all packed away. Yeah. The second-hand shops in France are amazing. Oh, Where are yes, people? because people buy that sort of clothing. You know, yeah. they, They've got much more disposable income than we do. We were in um, Paris, and my son was, I think he was about six or seven, and we went into a second-hand clothing store, and he could choose whatever he wanted, and he chose this um, dove grey pair of linen pyjamas at seven. Whoa, oh, thank she you. Beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I, I should have kept them, you know, yeah. framed them and put them on there. Even my pyjamas are hand-blocked, Indian pyjamas, which even if they've got holes in them, I have a lot of trouble. I have a lot of trouble throwing things away. Do you even mend them? I wouldn't go so far as to mend pyjamas, I don't think. No, but any of your other clothes? Oh, yes, mended? this is mended. A lot of them are mended because, you know, you wear them a lot and sometimes they'll tear a little bit and you... You mend them. But my mother taught me to do invisible mending. And so you can't, you know, you do it tiny, tiny, tiny little stitches. Like we used to have to do with our tights at school. That's right. I remember mending tights. Pantyhose. Well, of course, we didn't have pantyhose. We had stockings when I was really young. When I was yeah. at high school, it was stockings. With garters? Lyle stockings with suspender belts. Which, of course, is considered an unbelievable titivation these days. We just considered them a pain in the neck. They were so uncomfortable. And what were they, what were holding, they made from? Were they wool? The or? Well, the stockings were lyle, which is kind of some sort of disgusting wool mix, I think. Bulletproof. Yeah. And the suspender belts, I don't know what they were made out of. I don't know. Underwear material. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of part synthetic, part cotton, probably. Yeah. But that meant that constant having to constantly mend. Yeah. Yes, and also we, as short skirts came into fashion, you know, you were constantly sort of had your hands attached to your knees because you were constantly pulling down your short skirts so that you wouldn't see the spin belts because of the stockings. <gasps> and then pantyhose arrived. When I was 17, pantyhose arrived, and that just changed everything. You could wear your skirts as short as you liked. I had a sister who shall not be named. Who had the shorter skirt in the whole school? <laughs> Not looking at anyone in particular. On the fast <laughs> road to hell, the nuns would have said, Peter Matthias, go straight home and let the hem down on that gym. And remember Measure that. them, yeah. And if the gym fault didn't come to the floor, then you just go straight home and fix it. Yeah. The, the, yeah and they'd get out the roller. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Those days. <laughs> Thank God we escaped them. Thank God we escaped them, bunch of bitches. <laughs>